Hello everyone, this is Robert from Book of Mormon Editions, where we discuss printings, publications, and various editions of the Book of Mormon. So it's interesting when an edition of the Book of Mormon is printed, but its editors claim it as something different than the traditional Western thinking that most of us are used to. I'll get right into this review, as this is the case with this next edition of the Book of Mormon. This is called the African Bible, with a subheading as The Book of Mormon is African Bible, an edition published by a gentleman by the name of Ambaye Melikin. This is a softcover printing showing a dark cover with title, a crucifix, and a multicolored map of Africa, and was copyrighted in 2011. You probably guessed it, but the general thesis from Mr. Melikin and his, in his introduction is that the Book of Mormon is a historical text for the African nations and was written in Africa by the prophets of African descent for the people of Africa. Part of his premise is that Ethiopia and neighboring Eritrea is the motherland of many African nations, and the ancestors of those generations listed in the Book of Mormon came from this area and spread throughout Africa. So even if this idea is in left field compared to most Book of Mormon scholarly thought, it's interesting that Mr. Melikin is very adamant that the events of the Book of Mormon happened on the African continent instead of the Western Hemisphere. In the introduction, he mentions that there are many similarities to Book of Mormon stories and African traditions. He states that the ebony black Africans were the Yeridites and that many or origin stories of Eritrea and Ethiopia started with a family of travelers that split into two main nations, warring against each other. There is even an African story about a Prince Moroni, who was the last of his family to survive conflict and strife. Mr. Melikin states that this is proof that the Book of Mormon was written in Africa and therefore claims it as an African Bible. So the text of this Book of Mormon is in traditional 1981 Salt Lake text with similar characters, chapters, and versing. It even has the Salt Lake chapter headings, which were specifically for Salt Lake. However, they managed to be included here in this non-Salt Lake printing. However, laced throughout the text is Mr. Milliken's explanation, review and analysis of the text, and how it correlates with African ideas and cultural references. This commentary is throughout the volume, as the text of the Book of Mormon is in bold italics, and his commentary is in a normal font. So I reached out to Mr. Melikin, and his responses were cordial. He was very adamant that the Book of Mormon is an African scripture beyond shadow of a doubt. He referred to a publication he did called 80 Reasons Why the Book of Mormon is an African Bible. What I find interesting is that he mentions in his preface and back cover that, quote, the Mormon Church had the records for two centuries without knowing the authentic owners of the ancient manuscript. Unquote. This means that Joseph Smith brought forth the Book of Mormon and established a church in its wake without knowing it was actually for and from a people of a different continent. However, what I can't seem to find yet is the explanation on how an African record was created and then ended up relocated to the Western Hemisphere for a young Joseph Smith to find hidden in Upper State New York and translate it without knowing its proper origin. So I'll let you evaluate this edition on your own, as the promise of Moroni is still valid, to know the truthfulness of the Book of Mormon and to know the origin and source. So there you have the African Bible, a publication for the African nations by Mbaye Melikin, written in 2011 and still available today. Thanks everyone for watching this video. I'm honored by the feedback I've been getting and I encourage you to share this channel with others. If you have a special or unique edition of the Book of Mormon that you'd like reviewed here, please contact me at bomeditions at gmail.com. Best wishes everyone.